I think there's so many exciting applications that we can unlock if robots could evolve and adapt the way natural life can. I'm Rebecca Kramer Botiglio, and I'm a mechanical engineer and roboticist. I got an email that said the director of the NSF wanted to schedule a call with me for five minutes. And I thought, what on earth could the director of the NSF need to talk to me about for five minutes? Still even thinking about it now, I, I'm speechless. How is one supposed to react when dreams are coming true? My lab develops robots that can adapt in their morphology and behavioral control policy to changing tasks and environments. We're interested specifically at the intersection between materials and robotics. We create multifunctional materials and then we incorporate those into new platforms to look at new capabilities such as shape change. There are no known animals in the world that are completely rigid. All animals are at least partially soft. What does this mean for how we should be designing robots and machines. Could soft robotic technologies and soft materials play a role in solving the adaptability problem for robots? If we kind of decouple from thinking of a robot as a traditional machine made of rigid components and things that we associate with robots, you know, motors and metal, and we start to think of it more as a multifunctional material system, robots in general can largely benefit from the inclusion of soft robotic technologies. The Waterman Award gives me the ability to pursue high risk, high reward ideas that are often interdisciplinary, leveraging insights from fields that are tangential to what I was trained in to immerse myself in those fields, pick up some of that expertise and then merge it into the expertise I already have, really redefining what is a robot? What can a robot be? What can a robot look like? What can a robot do? I'm hoping that that's where exciting innovation will come from.